Hey Deckers, Jedi Survivors patch 7 with performance improvements is here, especially if you have DLSS, unfortunately we do not on the Steam Deck, and I've been getting loads of requests to have another look at this. On the surface it does look like there has been some improvements, but there is one big exception. I'll come back to that one though. For the most part with AMD FSR 2 on quality it does actually play fairly well through a lot of the closed sections, however once combat gets a little bit heavier it really does get a little bit hairy but with balance mode it's very stable even with things going really hectic on Jeddah and some of the mental cutscenes which do look absolutely incredible I must say it does seem to hold at over 30 frames per second whereas barely holding above that before and was very jittery so definitely a lot smoother but still sporting the unsupported Steam Deck official status running everything on low with VSync off, you can see the LSS stuff there, which we can't use yet. But if we put the FSR2 on quality, it does work well until we get into heavy battles, and then we're back down into the mid 20s. And this does become extremely noticeable to the point where you're going to miss your parries quite often. And it does get extremely frustrating because this game needs the parries so badly to be able to get through a lot of these enemies and dodging as well so if you miss those you die very quickly and it becomes very very annoying switching this down to balance fsr though does give a noticeable improvement without a massive quality drop those big battles still dip into the mid 20s but the lag is much less noticeable meaning you are going to be able to pull off those parries and the dodges when you need to when you're paying full attention and then you will be able to have a fairly good time that is unless you go to Kobo, which is a shame because you spend a lot of time on this planet. But when I came back to this planet because I wanted to get through that Jeddah mission before I finished my testing, I thought it can't be too bad, right? They must have improved things. But I got hit with a cutscene as soon as I landed and oh my god, this was absolutely awful. I had to skip it and I have to watch this somewhere else later. Look at this, down to 15 frames per second. The audio and visual is completely out of sync. There is just so much wrong with this that I cannot begin to say. After skipping that, moving around Kobo with the FSR on balance still has major problems. Dipping into the mid 20s and have you spotted that we still haven't got a texture loaded yet? Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. We've got major pop in issues to say the least. So it is such a shame that they do seem to have improved things across the board except for on Kobo in where you are spending a lot of your time coming back and forward to the missions here and this map continuously expands through the game. This is a real bad problem. Now, even if we switch this to performance just moving around the town again still getting major performance dips into the mid 20s. So. In Kobo, you do want to switch down to performance mode just to make it a little bit more bearable. But don't expect over 30 frames per second while you're running around here consistently. But you will be able to play in balance mode for the most part in the other areas and you will have a good time. So as long as you have that expectation, then patch 7 definitely has a bit of improvement, but still quite a lot to be done. Let us know in the comments below if this is enough for you to dive back into Jedi Survivor or whether you'll still be giving it a miss until they fix it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.